Hi, it's me, Lady J again. Today, we're going to be talking about relationship working. And um, I, I want to start YouTube in, um, on a daily basis about different things that's going on in my life with different relationships. Whether it be with my hubby or with my girls or with my son or with my mom, with my sister. I want to be able to share how... I'm working on and dealing with different relationships in my life. But today, I think I'll start with talking about finding the perfect mate. It's a discussion that I've been having with my friends my, and my sister. And I think that would be a great topic for us to start with. Now, I personally believe in this life that there is no perfect mate. I think we find individuals, whether it be a man or a woman, that has potential. And when I say potential, I mean, you, for a female, you'd find a man that has the potential to be a good man. He is kind, he's sweet, he's loving, he has all the right tools, but maybe you need to do some investing in order to make him the man you need him to be. And vice versa with a man. If you're a man and you find a woman who's a good cook, she seems like she's a good mother, it seems like she would be somebody who's dependable, then she has the she has the right tools that you need to work on in order to make her that great woman for you. Now, we have a tendency to believe that there is this perfect guy or perfect woman out there for us, which is such a myth. It's so not true. We live in a fairy tale where we watch too much television shows, Little House on the Prairie, Days of Our Lives, um, how to Catch Carter, all these shows that teaches us or leads us to believe that um, life is some big fairy tale where we're going to meet Mr. Wright or Mrs. Wright and fall in love. So not true. I'm sure it does happen to one out of ten, but the reality of it is none of us is perfect. We all have flaws and we're all different individuals. And so when we come together, you literally have to work on your relationship. You have to learn this new person and you have to take the good with the bad. For example, I'm married and my husband is the total opposite of me, but he compliments my bad, he compliments my good. And so with that, I have to take all that into consideration because I'm OCD. If he was OCD like I was, I, maybe I would have a problem with it. But we, you need someone to balance you, to, you know, to keep you um, leveled. So when we look at relationships and we are looking for to find that right person, you have to keep all that in mind. That no one's perfect and that you have to work with and work on that person and invest in them and teach them how to love you. How to treat you in order to make them the right person for you because no one comes ready-made so that being said uh, for all of you out there that's looking to meet someone new that's looking to start dating that's looking to leave an old love and jump into a new one keep in mind that there's no ready-made love out there there's no perfect guy there's no perfect woman you need to have the mindset that you're going to have to put that time in. You're going to have to take the good with the bad with that new person. You're going to have to teach that person how to treat and how to love you. You're starting from scratch and it's going to be a lot of work. But when you invest in something, just like anything else, you go to work, you put the time in, you work overtime, you get the job done. You know, if you don't go to work, you don't do the time, then nothing gets done. It's that simple. You know, and so relationships are the same thing. You meet someone new, you have to take time to get to know them, take time to teach them about you and build. It's all about building. It's all about seeing the potential in that other person to be that perfect match for you 
Because again, there is no perfect mate. Have a good night.